Okay, guys, for all you book geeks out there like me, this is what I pulled out last night. Um, the search, this, I'm a big sucker for anything old, and I think this one is like 50s. I'm trying to see when it was printed. 1919. You see that? So, I will, I told you guys a friend of mine, a friend, a daughter of my friend homeschools her kids and she only lets them read books prior to 1950. Where's the print date? 1951. So I'll pass all these along to her. The Man of the Desert. Um, read May 20th or March 20th. Oh, sorry. Read March 20th. Ed back from church, E.M. not back, M.C. It's funny the notes that they used to write in the book. And this one was 1914. And it's just a bunch of different chapters, I guess. This one, don't even know what this is. Didn't realize I picked that up. This is Interpol, Turn on the Bright Lights. I don't know what that is. Um, the Power of a Praying Wife. I'm telling you people, if you are struggling, if you are having issues, whether it's with your children, your marriage, co-workers, your parents, if you're a teen and you're having issues at home, um, so she doesn't have books for teens to pray for their parents, but you could pick up the one for teens and you can pray that over your parents. You can pick up the one, I mean, you can pick up any of these books and convert that into prayers for something that this, you know, this is for the spouse. Or this is a praying wife. I could, you know, my husband could use these and just insert my name instead. Um, so anyway, um, I, I highly recommend. I was praying when I went there that I would find. The one I'm wanting to find is the power of, a pr of praying for your adult children. Because my daughter's 18. And it's so funny. I did not find that. But this whole thing is full of prayer books. And I guess God's wanted me to pray over my husband. So this one's for me. Look at this. The world of Pooh. You know, Pooh just, just came out, too. And this is this is old. This was the... I don't want to take them out of here. There's two of them. I think it was from the 70s. Um, and this is the world of Pooh. The world of Christo Christopher Robin. I'm likely going to keep that. Devotions for a Deeper Life. So I'll keep this one for me as well. Look what I found. These are so cool. Bear Cup Scout book. I think I'm going to try to sell these. I'm kind of a, tend to kind of be a little prepper. A little bit on the prepping side. So I may, I've not read this one. I did a study for a while on um, angels and the power they play, that they play in your life. Um, Let's see, Valerie, 8 of 98. If you don't embarrass sin, sin will embarrass you. Scriptures to read, Leviticus, Ephesians, 1 Thessalonians, Titus, and Colossians. I don't even see this part. If your Bible is torn apart, your life is not. Jeremiah three fifteen. Fear is F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. Find them, train them, let them. But that's because I looked through the Bible earlier. Oh, see, I, I didn't notice that one either. Hmm. So yeah, so I'll go through here and see what else she has highlighted in here. My eyes cannot read this. Um, and then I'll pass it along. Um, this is an easy Bible for homeless to carry around for, for a homeless woman. So I um, may pass that along to my friends who deal, who still handle. Preliminary and Geological Guide to the Jurassic. I didn't know I picked that up. I have to look at that and see what it is. I have no clue. I know this film, this recording could be really boring for a lot of you prayer and fasting guys i have not fasted in a really 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 long time so let me tell you this when i first came back to god so i accepted christ as my savior when i was a young girl walked away around my late teens 17 18 19 something like that and just kept walking further and further and further away from god i did not come back to god till i was probably 43 to 45 somewhere around there um and in the beginning like in any marriage I craved time with God and I would sit out because I've always been a stay-at-home mom I would sit out on our patio 
and you know in the spring in the early summer and in, in the fall times and sit out there for hours and just read God's Word do my Bible studies meditate and pray and then I would take you know two four two three to four mile walks every single day and that whole and I walked around our entire neighborhood and I prayed over our neighborhood and just had this beautiful beautiful closeness with God and I used to fast all the time well guys life has gotten to me you know my husband is ill God um, had me leave the church we were in and I've not taken the time to find a new church and I can just feel myself drifting I used to to fast and pray quite often and I've got to get back to that I truly believe every one of these books that I found regarding prayer that um, it's something that God set for me the marketing of evil I don't even know what that is I don't even know who it's by David I don't even know um look at these I got these for my little nephew the littlest angel I say that he'll rip them apart but Let me see if I can find a date. Mm, 46. Little Brown Bear and His Friends. Let me see. Uh, this one I don't think is too old. May have been ripped out. Some little kid enjoyed this just too much. Yeah, it's been, the date's been ripped out. Some of these I picked up and had no idea what they were. Genesis, the book of beginnings. I don't know. I'll have to look at that and see if that's anything I'm interested in reading. Let me put these in there. Walking by faith, crossing the threshold, learning to live by faith. That's another one of those. Um, I don't know if that's the same one or not. Your Spiritual Authority by Charles Caps. I don't know who Charles Caps is. The Triumph at Church, Dominion Over All the Powers of Darkness. Again, goes along with prayers. <laughs> prayers. Jezebel, the Seducing Goddess of War. Don't let the Spirit control your life. Jezebel, if you guys don't know who Jezebel is, you need to read up on her. You need to um, study her. She wreaks havoc in a household. She... The spirit of this devil is pretty bad. And yes, she's a devil. Call of Duty. There's a couple of... I can't open it. Come on. Okay, give me a second. So there's disc one and disc two. Oh, that's disc three. Maybe there's not a disc one. Okay. So, sorry guys. Okay, so there's disc two through six, but not one. So it may not be, I'm sure it's not the same Call of Duty I was thinking of. This is The Treasure Principle, Randy Alcorn. I have to look at that and see. I'm not into prosperity gospel at all. I think God has so much more for us than prosperity gospel. Um, I'm not into praying to God to make me rich and wealthy. Um prayer something God can give you so much more than fame and fortune and um, while I don't discard those things um, and yes God does bless us with those kinds of things um, just not my main focus your foundations for success huh, what did I just say but it may not mean success in a prosperity way hmm. praying in your divine oh praying in your divine authority knowing the power you have when you pray is amazing. The basics of prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Guys, this is probably one you would want to get. I, I just did a video on praying for your child and praying for your marriage. That book I was telling you about, I just did a separate video on that. And the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray. And that's the Lord's Prayer. Most of us know the Lord's Prayer from our childhood. Give us this day our daily bread. Um, and it's not so much what Jesus said. It's what each of those sentences mean. And this one, I'm sure, will do it as well. Kay Johns um, out of Dallas, Texas, did an incredible one. I cannot think of what it's called, but you can look up Kay Johns. Um, they have a ministry out of Dallas, and you can order it from her. 
And oh my goodness, if you order the video, you'll die laughing because it's from like the 70s or the 80s with the big hair, the big giant glasses, the big giant ties. Um, it's pretty funny. They need to redo that video. But the concept behind it, you can just get the book, is amazing. Amazing. In Accessory Prayer. Um, an accessory prayer is where you go in and you intercede on behalf of your marriage, your church, your state, your government, um, other countries, the spiritual battles that are going on. Dutch sheets. I don't know a lot about Dutch sheets. I don't know if he's like a really good uh, godly man or not, but I'll read this book to find out. The Three Battlegrounds. Can't wait to see what that one's about. The Treasure Principle, another one of those. Smith Willsworth, amazing man. I read his book um, before he was part of the, was it 1870s, 80s, and 90s, maybe the early 1900s, who brought the revival in to um, all the nations, all the nations, and he brought it to California. He was from some, I, I don't know, Europe, I don't know, Um but he, he brought revival around the world and into California. Amazing. Rick Warren, I probably will not do this if I'm not mistaken. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure Rick Warren's not a good guy in my book. I'll have to look at it and see. And then The Sims. I didn't even realize I picked that up either. Anyway, guys, I know that was a long, boring video. But it's what I got for you today for all you book nerds. Bye.